Listen, the law of gravity states that when I throw something up, it lands. This is the law of gravity. When I jump up, I come down. But for a plane not to fall, it means that that aeroplane needs to change law. Somebody say energy. So what happens is that the pilot moves at a very fast speed and leaves the law of gravity and enters into another law called the law of aerodynamics. In the realm of aerodynamics, nothing comes down. So long you are in motion. In aerodynamics, when motion stops, gravity takes hold. So as long as the plane is moving, guess what? It never drops. Listen. If I'm in a low energy level and I'm noticing some possibilities in my life, possibilities to lie, possibilities to be deceptive, possibilities to be jealous, what do I do? I need to change law because there is a realm I am at that if I move away from that law of gravity and I enter into the realm of aerodynamics, I know that at that state I'm no longer falling. How do we enter into it? Somebody say energy. Listen to me, child of God. Kabariate. Listen, listen. So long you are in this suit, God flesh. Even Jesus, who was God, experienced these same limitations. How did he experience it? We see God tired. How will God, creator of heaven and earth, be sleeping in a boat? So we are seeing that Jesus knew that he cannot manifest the fullness of God in him, in flesh. So Jesus had to subscribe to something. Somebody say energy. Somebody's not getting what I'm saying. Are you getting what I'm saying? Somebody say energy. Come on. How is it possible that the son of God, God himself, was hungry? So what am I trying to tell you? So long you are in the flesh, there are possibilities. So long you are in the flesh, you are limited. But let me tell you, God, it has pleased God to raise a system of perfection for mankind. So Jesus began to show us that I am limited. I am a man, I am another. But there is a way, there is a there is a new law. Somebody say, you know, do you remember the aerodynamics? There is a new law I, Jesus, will subscribe to that I will begin to live as God on earth. So we see, the Bible say, every night, Jesus will depart from his disciples and go into the place of prayer. So how did Jesus leave the realm of gravity to the realm of aerodynamics? He entered through what? Through prayers. There is a responsibility of God. There is the responsibility of man. Are you following what I'm saying? He said, you, where is it? He said, you, my delightful love friends, constantly, somebody say constantly. Somebody say progressively. It means that for me to consistently be strong in spirit, in this time we are living in, there are two factors I must never deny. Number one is constantly. Somebody say constantly. It means that there must never be a day in record that my tongues did not ascend. In, are you getting what I'm saying? It means there must never be a day in time that I am not praying. It means that there must never be because the systems of this earth is ready to bring me down. It means that, look at me, look at me, look, look at me. It means when the plane stops flying, when the plane, the engine of the plane knocks in the realm of aerodynamics, gravity will take hold of that plane. It means that for me not to fall as a believer, I must understand the place of progressly and what? Consistently. You will hear me like Papa e. Adibu, you say, for the past 30 years of my life, there have never been a day I have not studied my Bible. Baba, you mean they did not wake you? Daddy, emergency, emergency, hospital, and you did not study your Bible that day. You mean, Baba, you did not have exam to write? You mean, Baba, you were not tired? 30 years! This is why you see that we have, we, 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 we hold the rema. But our fathers hold the experience. We will we, we blow the rema in heaven and earth. When you move from the perpetual angle of the divide and you enter into the third heavens, but Baba Debo does not need to do like that. All he needs to come. Uh, good morning, everybody. My daddy says somebody here uh, is about to get fruitful. And the next Sunday, you that gave rema of the third dimensions of the seven order, nobody, in short, your church even became more empty. 
body, the eternity. It means that there is something these people know that we don't yet know. This is what they understand. God, Baba Adeboye was speaking in the midst of his pastors, and his, he brought a point that he dozed off and he fell through a step. And he said, when he stood, when he stood up, he started. He continued. Kulumu, kulumu, lamada, kulumu. And he just laughed. He said, I know some of you pastors here, you don't do those where you pray. What is he trying to tell us? He's trying to tell us that even in prayer, pray. Listen, there is a realm of prayer you are going to enter into. You will notice that even in your dreams, you are praying. You will wake up and you will meet tongues in your mouth. Hey, Kamarata, you will wake up. Hey, I, yes, I woke up to him. Yes, I don't even know. And I just woke up and I met myself in that, in that realm. It's called the realm of aerodynamics. Somebody say aerodynamics. So how do I build energy to live pure? How do I build energy from my life in this earth realm? How do I build energy to sustain? Hey, Pastor Goswin, all you were saying something. Sir, he said the Holy Ghost revealed to him that crypto is going to rise a certain time. He said he was shocked. He was telling the revelation to somebody. Now, what am I trying to tell you? This energy can determine your financial state. Mark 6.45. Mark chapter 6. Give me King James. King James. There is an energy level. You will go back home today. And you will notice that you will not miss a night. One hour you are there. Two hours you are there. Three hours. You are there locked up with the Lord. Tebra to sati ito kapai shevida giatia. Hey, it's called energy. Somebody say it again. Say energy. Okay, read, read for me. Read from verse forty-five down. Pay attention to this mystery, everybody. Mark chapter six, verse forty-five. And straight away he constrained the disciples to get into the ship and to go to the other side. Look at me. So remember, I told you that. So long Jesus is in the flesh, Jesus had the capacity to be tired. So long Jesus is in the flesh, Jesus had the capacity to be hungry. So long you are in the flesh, you have the capacity to be tempted. So long you are in the flesh, you have the capacity to want to carry a lady. Apostle Adam said when he was in courtship, sometimes he will look at his wife and he will say, you just feel like carrying her and run to the bush. So long you are in the flesh, you have the capacity to have these desires. But Jesus is showing us a way. If you subscribe to this way, you can leave the realm of gravity and enter into the realm of what? Aerodynamics. Let me show you. Read on. And to, the other, and to go to the other side before unto Bethsaida, while he sent away the people. And when he had sent them away, he departed into a mountain to pray. Ah, ah, look at me. If you read the preceding scripture, you will see what Jesus did. Jesus just finished feeding people with bread. Look at, and Jesus sent them away. And where did he go to? He went to the mountain. What did he go to do to the, to the, on the mountain? To do what? Lord, I know I am limited in this flesh. But, Lord, I know that if I don't pay attention, listen to me, child of God. You are not weak. You are only prayerless. Oh, you are not addicted to pornography. You are not addicted to lying. You are only prayerless. Do you know what I started doing? I don't know if I should share it. It didn't enter me at the point I set alarm on my phone. At the point in the day, the alarm rings. And my phone started telling me, it's prayer time, charge your spiritual battery. And all of a sudden, anything I'm doing at that point ceased. And all of a sudden, da -da, ba -ba. if you know you are too busy, let your phone work for you. You're only prayerless. You are not struggling, sir. You're only prayerless. You are not weak. No Christian is weak. We only have prayerless Christians. Because the Bible says, building up this strength. For you to enter into that strength, there must be something in the equation. It's called what? Somebody say prayer. Somebody say energy. Okay. Restore my prayer life. What has happened to my prayer altar? Oh God. Lord, no. I cannot end like this. I cannot end like this, oh God. What has happened to my fasting altar? What has happened to my prayer altar? 
What has happened to my prayer life? What has happened to my secret place? 